As the excitement around generative AI is growing, we can see that its power to speed up the application prototyping process is a game changer. If you have access to the right tools, such as the Generative AI Studio and other Gen AI capabilities that are available now through Vertex AI on Google Cloud, you can experiment, adapt, and perfect new ideas in a snap. And by a snap, I mean minutes or hours instead of weeks and months. Building an app is as easy as opening the Generative AI Studio in the Vertex AI section of the Google Cloud console. Selecting the modality you want to work with, choosing your preferred format and inputting your prompt, and adjusting model parameters for additional control. With Generative AI Studio, you get the chance to explore and tailor Generative AI models that perfectly fit into your Google Cloud application. You can even embed these applications to your website or mobile app. In this video, we are going to explore Generative AI Studio available on Vertex AI. But before that, let's briefly see what other tools are available on Vertex AI. So this is how inside Vertex AI looks like. If we expand the menu on the left, we can see all the tools that are available to us. We can see that we have access to Model Garden, Workbench, and Pipeline. We also have Generative AI Studio, which we will talk about shortly. In addition to that, we have tools for data management, model development, and model deployment and use. Generative AI Studio helps developers create and deploy models by providing tools and resources that make it easy to get started. Generative AI Studio lets you quickly test and customize a variety of Google's foundation models through prompting and tuning, and allows you to easily deploy your tuned models. Inside Generative AI Studio, you can access Google's language, vision, and speech foundation models. The availability of some modalities varies. For example, you can see that at the time of recording this video, I do not have access to vision models. So let's focus on language and speech. Let's focus on language for now. You can either click the language from the menu on the left or open button at the bottom of the language box. If you want to get a better idea of how you can use Gen AI Studio for different purposes, you should explore the prompt gallery. So before exploring the different types of prompts, let's have a look at the prompt gallery. Here we can see a variety of sample prompts that are pre-designed to help demonstrate model capabilities. The sample prompts are categorized by task type, such as summarization, classification, and extraction. Let's have a look at an example. When you open the sample prompt, you can see that the prompts are pre-configured with a specific model and parameter values. So you can just click Submit. And get the model to generate a response. To directly work with the language models, we have three options. Interact with the model in a free form or structured prompting interact with the agent as a chatbot, or create a tuned model that's better equipped for our test cases. Let's explore the text or code prompt in a freeform format. So let's try design and test your own prompts. Here, I can give the model a prompt and ask it to produce a response. So I just provided a long article here and I'm asking the model to provide a brief summary for the following article. For different kinds of prompts, I can also use my microphone and directly speak to the model. On the right side, we can also see that there are some settings that we can use to configure the model. We can choose what type of model we want to use. Here, we have two language models and two code models. We can set the temperature for the model. 
which controls the degree of randomness or creativity. We can also set the token limit, which determines the maximum amount of text output from one prompt. Top K changes how the model selects tokens for the output. Top P changes how the model selects tokens for the output. And we can also set different safety filter thresholds. So now we can ask the model to produce a response for our prompt. Let's click Submit. And we can see that the model summarized the long article into three lines. If you are doing a few shot prompting, a structured prompt template is available to make it easy by providing a form for context and examples. For structured prompts, let's get back to our Vine classification example. We can provide some context to the model, which instructs how the model should respond. We can also provide multiple examples to the model. These examples help the model understand what an appropriate model response looks like. We also have our settings on the right side. We also have the option to add more columns for more complex examples. And to test the model, we provide an input whether by writing it in the input section or directly talking to the model. And when I click Submit, the model generates a response for me. We can easily convert any structured prompt to free form. And that's how it looks like. You can choose to initiate a text or code chat to start a conversation with the model. You can provide context and examples of interactions to further direct the conversation. All the settings for model configuration are available here as well. Now, let's try a chat prompt. In chat prompt, we have the option to provide some context to the model, which instructs it on how it should respond. We can also provide examples to help the model understand what an appropriate response would look like. So for example, if the user says this, the model should say this. We also have the option to provide more examples to the model. After providing enough context and examples, we can start chatting with the agent. So if we ask how many planets are there in the solar system, the model provides an appropriate response. Similarly, we can ask other questions and the model keeps providing appropriate and accurate responses, consistent with the examples we provided. Now, let's see how we can create a tuned model using our own database. We have the option to tune a model so it's better equipped for our use cases. Let's check it out. So here we can choose our JSON dataset and set a location to store the dataset on the cloud. After providing the dataset, we can tune the model details. And after that, we can tune the model based on our dataset and our settings. To decide which model would be the best fit for our specific use cases, we can check out Google's library of foundation models, which is available in Model Garden. In Model Garden, you can explore models by modality, task, and other features. With many different enterprise-ready models at your disposal, Model Garden enables you to select the most suitable model depending on your use case, your expertise in machine learning, and your available budget. Okay, time to check out the speech models. Now it's time to explore the speech models. We can choose the speech either from the menu on the left or by clicking on the open under the speech box. Here we have two different options, text to a speech or speech to text. Let's go to text to a speech. 
Here, we can either provide the text or directly talk to the model. After providing the text, we have some options to choose different languages or set the speed of the speech. If everything looks good, we can click Submit. And now we have a synthesized AI voice that can read that text for us. Building an app is as easy as opening the generative AI studio in the Vertex AI section of the Google Cloud Console. Selecting the modality you want to work with, choosing your preferred format. For more advanced features like support for longer audio, we can use Speech Studio. And that's how the environment looks like. We also have speech to text. Here, we can either upload an audio file or record our own voice. And after providing the speech to the model, we can see that it turns it into text. So now I recorded my voice and I click submit. And here's my speech turned into text. We can also use the Speech Studio for a speech to text application. Both features, speech to text and text to speech, are available in the Speech Studio. After you've customized your model, you have a few options. You can save the prompt to the prompt gallery. You can also deploy to Vertex AI's machine learning platform for production and management. Or you can implement your newly tuned models directly into your website and applications. So in conclusion, through Vertex AI's Generative AI Studio, we can access language, vision, and speech models. Through language models, we are able to test, tune, and deploy Generative AI language models. We can also access the Palm or Kodi API for content generation, chat, summarization, code, and more. With vision models, we are able to write text prompts to generate new images using the Imagine API. We can also generate new areas for an existing image. And with speech models, we can convert speech into text using the Chirp API. We can also synthesize speech from text using Google's Universal Speech Model or USM. And that concludes this video on Generative AI Studio on Vertex AI.